We have uh, iPhone XS with us. Came for no power. Price for us that. So is this phone is dead. Um, the board is out already, and uh, this is the screen of it. Okay, the problem with this board is that this board got some sort of shortage somewhere. So we're gonna see where it is, though. You know, uh, have a look what's happening with this. So just quickly test it with the supply iPhone X power supply. Power is off at the moment on power supply, so we're gonna connect the power. And the power supply. Power supply connected to the board. Now we're gonna do the power here. Let's see what does it do. You see that it's jumping badly up and down and i'm gonna see on the board any heat marks or anything so we can feel a little bit heat on it and see where it is i'm gonna check under microscope you check on the phone and then we gonna check where we got to work so at the moment the region which is heating up it's here and then comes and goes disappear so we're gonna see i'm gonna check what's happening okay so what i initially test uh, when i'm testing an iphone x or xs i test these pads here these all connectors that if they have any sort of shortage so how do you test that like they said this is the connector and this is the battery connector so this is the battery connector we come on the xw and we see the battery connector or so you see that this one is ground 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 these are these are ground this is not it's not ground it's positive and that's for bsi these were the battery connectors um, the data lines so let's start here with there let's see if it's beeping here and then we will see if we can do anything sure it's not here let's see the next connector so similarly i check all the connectors One beep here. So the next connector is this one beep. Let's check this J5700, which is this. So we're gonna check this now. This is ground. And the rest of the pins are beeping as well. And this pin is beeping. So this pin and this pin is beeping. And here. We check one is ground and one is not ground. So that's the other side. This side was supposed to be beeping because this is ground. That should be okay. So we're gonna come here and have a look what's happening here. I want to double check it. It's ground. Sadly, that's a ground pin and that's a positive pin. They both are giving the same reading. That means this is short. So we're gonna work on it and see where it goes so and we checked it this uh, caps here and one big cap is under there and after that it goes so many places here here everywhere so we're gonna check which one of that is faulty or where the red is faulty so we're gonna have a look oh not faulty but short uh there one of them is short so we can have a look stay with us okay the further probe um but we've done a little bit of more digging in uh, when we remove this protection glue so we found out this cap is okay that cap is a little bit out of shape though why are we looking at these two caps because of this see these two caps they're supposed to be there so they are there but this cap 
app this cap is not in good condition so this cap is okay but that's not so we're gonna have a look we're gonna remove it and we're gonna see what does it do does it still have a short after that or not okay good news um that was the culprit yes that was the cap so we removed it and uh, now what we're getting we get in a charging sign but this is our testing LCD it's not customer LCD customer LCD is this and I'm gonna show you what's happening here so that's the one of the shield we have cut and then that's what we found underneath the shield now this is liquid damage badly and because of that it has uh, caused a shortage on the board as well yeah so that's uh, I'm gonna show you on the ZXW on the computer that is here so here when we're working on that connector this connector is a display connector FTSM. so that was a display line PPVDD main and that's all display VCCI VCI connector so that was a display connector so that actually got shortage on one of that cap here uh, because of this because of lcd so lcd caused damage on the phone because uh liquids liquid marks on it has uh, all been messed up so here you can see that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try it if i can remove the shortage on those connectors here you're gonna see that if that will do any sort of magic because on this on this no display and on our testing LCD phone is charging okay so iphone x came for no power um, dead shortage on board uh, we managed to remove the shortage and we also found that there was a problem with the screen and then this is charge coming on only problem we have right now that we don't have a code so <clears throat> without code we cannot check last thing i'm going to check now if i can get the display on this screen so let's disconnect it and disconnect the testing screen non boot screen and we're gonna see if this screen is showing display i'm just gonna check the display it's struggling because i'm holding the camera with one hand i'm just gonna touch as well see if that power zone so maybe see if we get any display on the screen oh no charging on my charger thing but it's not showing anything it came on as well but no display so we'll assume that this LCD is faulty not good that repair on this bed cleaning and all that didn't work so yep customer gotta have gotta have a new screen so this phone has been fixed came for no power iphone 10 just to double check that that the show to the screen has not caused any damage let's power it up yeah so this is good coming on charging problem we have is that his customer has to is 40 so this iPhone X has been fixed and I will be 15 minutes we don't have a code so we're gonna put the screen on leave it as it is and then we're gonna see that if we get a code we check the rest of the functions so if you have any device you let us know we can fix it for you thank you very much for watching do subscribe to our channel and do leave some comments thank you very much bye bye